to my channel. Today I filmed this makeup tutorial for you guys today and it's featuring two new products. One from Makeup Geek, which I am super, super excited about. It is her contour shade. I am in the shade Half Hearted. I will link her video down below where she talks about all of her contour shades, the undertones, why she chose them, who she recommends it to, and all that good stuff. And as soon as I saw that video, I ordered the one that I felt fit my complexion the best. And I'm so excited because these are talc free. And I break out I swear from every and any contour kit and bronzer and the main ingredient I'm finding that well the common ingredient in all those makeup products is talc so these do not have any talc in them which I'm super excited about so I have high hopes for these um, I also have grandstand which is the only and the very first foiled eyeshadow I own from her I also got that in the mail I know that's not new but it's new to me but the second new product that just launched is Ariana Grande's um, MAC Viva Glam lipstick and I don't own any of the Viva Glam lipsticks. This is the very first one I own, so that is the one I'm wearing on my lips today. But for now, let's quit with the rambling and let's go straight into the tutorial. Hey guys, so today we're going to start off by priming our face. We're using the Tarte Smoothing Clay Primer. Um, so you guys know I love to use this to smooth out the texture in my face. And then it also helps me stay a little bit mattified where I get over oily, which is my T-zone area. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm also priming my lips with Nicole Guerrero's Best Damn Lip Max because the um, lipstick we're using today is terrible if you have like dry and patchy lips so this is a really good way to prep my lips and then I'm just quickly filling in my brows same old thing filling them in and then cleaning them up underneath and then today we're going to be priming our eyelids with this concealer it's the neutralizing concealer by Maybelline I really like this because it's a little bit on the hydrating side so it's not going to cling to any dry patches but it's also this yellow based um, color corrector so it helps cancel out any darkness on my eyelids and since it is a concealer we want to go ahead and set it and I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just gonna go ahead and set my eyelids so this is gonna make a really nice um, slate and base for the um, foundation or the eyeshadows I can't even talk today and then I'm also gonna go ahead and prime my under eye area with this Smashbox under eye primer while I start with my eyeshadows we're gonna be using creme brulee by makeup geek and we're gonna take a really fluffy brush from BH cosmetics and use it as our transition shade so I'm going to be swiping this back and forth, of course, starting on the outer side of the eye and blend it in inwards. So go ahead and build this up to your liking. So I go in about three times with that shade. And then I'm going to go in with Coco Bear by Makeup Geek. And I'm going to be using the Morphe 413, I believe. I'm going to start in the outer corner. But today, since we're doing a halo eyeshadow effect, I'm going to focus this on the outside of the eye. And what I like to do is blend inward and then kind of flick it outward once I have the least amount of product. But like I said, since it's in halo eye effect, we're also going to take this dark color into the eyelid um, interior part so near the tear duct but we want to keep the center part of the eyelid really really bare because that's where we're going to put our pop of color and then once I have most of the product dispersed I'm going to go ahead and connect the two sides when there's the least amount of product so with also the interior of my eye I start off by blending inward instead of outward but since we're going into the hollows of the eyes it can get pretty harsh so make sure to blend that out with a big fluffy brush then we're gonna go in with mocha I believe my makeup geek if I said that incorrectly I'll list it down below and we're gonna do the same steps but we're using a smaller denser brush because we're gonna focus this a little bit lower than we did cocoa bear because we want that gradient effect so once again you start on the outside of the eye blend inward and once you have the least amount of product start flicking it outward and then again in the inside of the eye we want to blend inward towards the eyelid instead of outward because otherwise it'll give us harsh lines and then once we have most of that product blended on each side then we want to go in and connect it all around the crease of the eye now we can go in with the star of the show which is makeup geeks grandstand foiled eyeshadow you guys this is the first eyeshadow that i've used from her that's foiled with this tiny little brush by morhew which i love since i have smaller eyelids and we're just going to go ahead and start packing that onto the eyelid just on the center so i do packing and swiping motions um to get this really metallic but honestly th this did not need any fix plus or anything these are amazing I was like, no way, is this real life? It's so beautiful. So here I'm just pulling my eye 
lid a little bit just to be able to pack that on and I'm just working on packing motions to get it super super intense and then I use the corners of the um, brush to really blend it into the darker colors here so that's what you see me here doing in this clip and then I go back in with a small pencil brush and use a little bit more of that dark uh, mocha color and then blend out those edges further because the worst thing is to have that nice halo eyeshadow but like a really blunt eyeshadow in the center so that's a really good way to blend it out then to highlight my brow bone I'm taking shimma shimma by makeup geek this is like a makeup geek day look at me and we're just gonna highlight our brow bone and then since we did have a little bit of fallout I'm just gonna go ahead and clean that up and then I'm gonna take my makeup forever color corrector here in the color orange and I'm gonna focus that around my mouth with clean fingers of course um, focus that around my mouth because I hate that ashy look that sometimes I get because uh, foundation oxidizes on me on that side of my mouth or face it's really weird and then since also as you can tell my bangs are crazy I'm gonna color correct underneath and then I'm gonna take the Lumi foundation which is an old favorite um, I do have a video comparing this foundation with the L'Oreal Lumi if you want to check it out I'll list it down below but I'm gonna go ahead and dot that everywhere because I am very dry right now and it's very annoying so a Lumi foundation kind of helps me look a little bit more dewy and radiant and then I'm gonna take the combination of these two concealers that Maybelline age rewind and neutral in the Tarte Maracuja creaseless concealer and tan so I use a neutralizer to highlight parts of my face which is under the eyes bridge of the nose the good old the works you know and then I take the tan color and I use that to actually conceal and I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with my real techniques beauty complexion sponge and then I'm gonna also take the Laura Mercier translucent powder to set it so if your uh, excuse me if your concealer creases make sure to set it with a powder I like this one because it's very lightweight so for someone who has very fine lines underneath it lays really nicely a lot of them feel like too heavy and they actually counteract the point of it non creasing and it actually ends up creasing and make me look aged and dry under there so go ahead and set your concealer and makes a world of a difference and then I like to go in with brow gel, which is the Anastasia, my absolute favorite, once I'm done with my foundation, in case I got any makeup in there. And then, hello, beautiful. This is the Makeup Geek Contour Shadow in Half Hearted. This was my first time working with it, so I really wanted to show you guys. And I want to let you know that a little goes a long way. So if you saw me pick it up and then I had to tap off the excess because it picks up a ton of product. And here I'm working it into the hollows of my cheekbones or lack of hollow cheekbones. So that's why I'm creating that illusion. And I'm like, holy snap, that is intense. So I'm going in on the hollows of my cheekbone and then you'll see me go on my temples just contouring you know the usual places to kind of slim out my face but as you see here I keep having to tap it off because it is pretty intense so a little goes a long way you guys and it blends out beautifully so even though it is pigmented it blends out really really nicely but I feel like I went a little heavy-handed so you'll see me go in with um, a clean brush from Morphe to blend that out so like I said I'm hitting the temples of my face and you know that double chin we got to get that girl make it look nice and slim and then we're gonna go in with um, that Morphe brush like I mentioned and blend that out a little bit further next we're gonna go be going in with highlighter and blush the blush I'm using is Tarte's exposed and the um, highlighter is opal by Becca and I like to go in with my highlighter first because I feel like it blends in with the blush a lot better and you don't have that really bright stark highlight look to your cheeks so go ahead and use your favorite fan brush mine's the 310 by morphe and then i'm taking the e4 by morphe as well and i'm using it to add blush to my cheeks and with this blush since it's not very pigmented you can really build it up i like to start on the apples of my cheeks and then work it inward and then we're gonna go in and bake a little under my contour i don't normally do this but i feel like i went a little heavy-handed with my contour so I'm just cleaning it up underneath so you can use this technique in case you got a little muddy and then you just wipe it off and it really cleans up so we're gonna move back onto the eyes I'm gonna use the Costa Rich eyeliner by Mac I love this because it's almost I feel like waterproof because I can put it in my waterline and underneath and it's the only eye pencil that doesn't smudge and gather in my tear duct so I like to place it down and then go ahead and smudge it out and then I go in with a little bit of the frap color or mocha and cocoa bear and smoke it out then I'm doing the same effect on my lower lash line as I did on my upper lash line and taking grand sand and centering it just in the center of my eyelids this is gonna give a really nice doll eye effect go ahead and coat your bottom lashes and then we're gonna move on to our lips which is the Ariana Grande lip 
lipstick and oh my god it was so hard to get out and then we're gonna line our lips too because I find that this Viva Glam is a little hard to work with so I just wipe off a little bit of be the best damn lip mask but I leave a little bit of it on because I feel like it makes my lip liners glide on a little bit more smoothly this next one is really inexpensive so it's not like super smooth and and creamy but when you use a lip mask underneath it makes it so much more better so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips I think this is the color plum by NYX and then I'm gonna go in with the Viva Glam very slowly and fill in my lips and then since it's kind of patchy but it's still such a beautiful color I go in in multiple layers so I put the lipstick on and then I take a little lip brush and then I clean up the edges and then I go back in and layer it but it is so pretty if you are a Ariana Grande fan which I, I am then you definitely need this in your collection but just be where you want to have your lips exfoliated and nice and clean but once you're done with the lips the look is complete I really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the description or excuse me in the comment section what you thought don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and I will see you next time bye